Morning, you guys. Um, I've decided to make a couple of videos on these weavers that I built, but I'm going to call it tips and tricks. Um, and the reason for that, from time to time, there's guys that send carbs to me or bring carbs to me that they've got problems with, they can't sort out. And then I'll see if I can help them out. So I've got this one here. Um, it came in the mail. So I'm going to, I don't know what's wrong with it. The guy says he can't go more than 120 k's an hour. So I don't know if it's jetting float level, I don't know what it is. So I'm going to open it up and, and I'm going to share what I find with you guys. So the first thing that I noticed, the idle screw is extremely bent, but it probably happened in the mail. Um, the delivery guy probably dropped it. So I'll have to try and bend that straight and get it out because he doesn't want to turn. I don't want to snap it off. Um, other than that, I can't see much wrong. Um, the, I don't know if you guys can see inside there. Let me try and hold it like this. They've got very long screws to hold the butterfly um, and they're the wrong type that's going to bother performance so i'll change them they've got to be countersunk and much smaller it takes up a big space in there and then i'll open it up further and see float level and jetty something else is perhaps blocked on it notice they skimmed the top of the carb nothing wrong with that um, it looks like the carb has been standing for a long time. There's a lot of corrosion inside. <coughs> so it's possible that there's a blockage inside there. I will double check that. I'll pull the emulsion tubes and have a look. I'll pull the jets out. The jet sizes look fine to me. That's what the guy had in there. Looks okay to me. Um, the float level. I will adjust the float level. It looks fine. But I will adjust the float level. And I also found a little bit of a little bit of dirt inside there uh, but I don't think that's what his problem is I did notice one of those auxiliary uh, um, Venturis was a 3.5 and the other one was a 4.5 if I'm not mistaken these carbs they want both to be a 4.5 but I'll double check that in the book that could be the problem um, and also the long screws at the bottom on the, on the butterfly um, but what I think I must do is give it a nice clean put it in my pickup and, and take it for a ride and see what it does. That's that's the only way we're gonna we're gonna determine what's wrong with this. Anyway, I'll uh, we'll we'll talk again when this is um, fully stripped. Uh, if I find something I'll share it. If I don't I'll put it back together, I'll put it on my pickup and we'll test it. So on this carby um, the float level was a little too low or is a little too low. I've put tape on my, on my little ruler so you can see um, at, at that little curve there on the float bell that's meant to be 41 millimeters and if I put it there and I try and line it up you can see it's too low so I must adjust that um, that'll make that'll make quite a bit of a difference I just want to hold it straight so you see there you can see it needs a few millimeters that the float level needs to be higher so i'll adjust that quickly um, and then yeah we'll have a look at the next problem so i've adjusted the float level it's now spot on 41 cleaned all of this out just in case but that was fine that's open um, i don't think there's anything other wrong in the top of the carb so the next bit of investigation will have to go into the into the carb body um, yeah, I think this is fine now flood level could have played a big part in it um, because it'll it'll starve with fuel but we'll see so the next thing to check was the auxiliary venturis um, and I did confirm it is a 3.5 over there and a 4.5 over there so the 3.5 that was in here, that wasn't perfectly round. So I've, I've made it more round, it's not perfect. Um, and I'll put a file to it just to clean it up a little bit. The 4.5 doesn't look too good. So I'll try and fix it up as best I can. Because I don't actually have another 4.5 to put in there for the guy. I'll clean it up, you can see they knocked it with a hammer. It's a bit out of shape. Um, but I'll sort that out, put that back. Um, and then we'll move on to, to the next problem or possible problem. 
So I've made it look better a little bit. This is the 3.5. Goes on the first joke. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll do its job. The hole must go to that side because this is what draws the fuel out of the float bowl across the through the jets across the uh, emulsion tubes and into the into the choke this one i did a little bit of work on with a file and a long nose pliers and so on and i think it came out all right saved it i think so this is the 4.5 goes in the in the second choke so there we are I think it's better than what it was. Um, next I'll pull the emulsion tubes and see if there's anything wrong with them. And obviously choke the clean those those channels out. So something interesting, uh, when I pulled the emulsion tubes, uh, it had an F6 and an F50. This is the F50. And this is the F6. You can see the whole pattern on them are completely different. So the F6 was on the first joke, according to my jet chart, should be in the second joke. Uh, but also according to my jet chart for uh, A14 engine, it should have two F66. I don't have two F66, um, but I'll, I'll turn these two around, put them back, try them, um, because they are F50 and F6 for uh, 1500 and a 1600 Kent engine. Um, don't know how much different that will be to a, to a 14 but I'll put it in like that and try it. Uh, that could also be a major problem, but we'll see. Well, I'll put it back the other way around, um, put it together, try it, and see what it does. So I pulled out the power valve. I know you can't see inside there, um, but inside the hole, it's white 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 from corrosion and also uh, the power valve didn't have a, a little gasket at the bottom and when i put it in my mouth and i blow from this side it's actually letting by so what i will do is i'll just close the holes with epoxy because i don't want anything to go through there and then put a gasket on there and screw it back um, this could also cause it to overfuel um, you don't really need the power valve system in a 1400. I usually close them up. So um, just to save the guy a bit of money, I'll epoxy this closed, put it back, put a, 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 a seal on it, and put it back. Um, and then after that, I think I'm going to assemble it. I'll, I'll first check the the uh, um, pump jet, accelerate the pump jet, make sure it works, and then um, I'll put it together, put it on my vehicle, and see what it does. So, okay, the next thing to do is to check the accelerator pump. I've put a bit of petrol in the float bowl. I've put the carb on a spacer so the butterflies don't touch the bottom. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throttle it. And you can see it pumps straight away. I can also see it leaks all over the show. It leaks fuel everywhere. So I'll have to, I'm gonna take that off, put new gaskets on there and put it back and test it again. But it works. A lot of times you get it that it sprays on that throttle. This is the first one was spray there. Uh, but that one works. So I'll just undo that, put new gaskets on, put it back. So okay, the car is on my vehicle. I started it up just now, didn't want to idle. Then I found the idle screw was completely blocked. So I replaced it. And I also noticed there wasn't a spring on there. So I screwed it out, put a spring on there. It idles a little high, something with the butterflies, they don't want to go back, um, but I'll check that out, but so far so good.
So, okay, I'm just gonna test drive that carb a little bit and, and see what it does. guys um it's the next day I've, I've done quite a bit of driving around with a with a vehicle with that client's carb on and and it had a on the first joke it had quite a bit of a flat spot so when you press the accelerate it would hesitate and then it would go um so first thing i did is i changed the emulsion tubes around i put a f66 on the first choke because the f66 doesn't have holes at the bottom um uh, let me show you here this is a, a 3236 or a 38 emulsion tube. The emulsion tube that I had in had holes at the bottom as well. Um, and it had, the F66 has got less holes at the top. I actually have an F66 here. No, that's an F66. So it's got only one hole at the bottom and it's got two holes in the top. There's no holes right down there. And what that does, it allows it allows you a little bit more fuel. Uh, uh, um, it, it, it allows less of a flat spot at low RPM. You must remember when you rev full out, and let's say you've got a 130 main and a 155 air, that's the fuel delivery. So what the emulsion tube does, it's a brake. It actually gives you a little bit less fuel to go through. Otherwise, you get this flat spot on it. And interestingly enough, um, after I changed it to the F66, it still had a bit of a flat spot and I went one size smaller on the mains and it was worse. So then I went a size up, actually two sizes up, um, and then it was fine. Um, so this is this is the test after I changed the emulsion tubes and the jets. Idling like this in gear and press the throttle, it, it, it would like that a big flat spot. Um, but I, I think I've sorted that. guy sent me the scarf because he couldn't get over 120 k's an hour with it question is why um i think number one is there's many things i think number one the float level wasn't right it was too low so he was running out of fuel um that contributes to it um the jetting not so much the jetting was fine i think i actually sold him those the jets that's in there um the 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 plunger at the bottom of the carb in the float bowl um for the power valve that was letting by so i think i think that was giving him extra fuel that he didn't need especially at low rpm uh, the pump jet uh, that little washer was letting by so when you accelerate it would spray the fuel instead of injecting it into the barrel um that was a problem um Obviously, the screws inside the carb, I haven't actually changed that. I'll change that before I send it back to him, but it runs fine like it is now. Um, so that was that. Then after that was sorted, I obviously came across that it's got this hesitant flat spot on it. And that was purely down to jetting. Um, there's, there's big signs around jetting, um, but I, I changed the emulsion tube and I made the, the main jet on choke one. Uh, it's now instead of a 130, it's a 142 and it runs fine. Um, so yes, um, I think we can have a happy client and I'll send this guy back to him.